Hey guys, Chris here, also known as Mr. Thrifter. And the other night I got a text from the thrift store that I usually pick up books from. And they texted me and they said they have nine boxes of books that someone just gave them, mostly textbooks. And so when I heard mostly textbooks, I got really excited. And because if you guys are resellers who sell or use books, you guys know that selling textbooks is essentially the best type of book you can get your hands on. So I went the other day and sure enough, there was pretty much nine boxes of textbooks just waiting for me to be given for free. And I brought them all back to my storage unit. And today we're gonna go back there and start scanning through them. And hopefully we find some awesome winners. So here's all the books guys. We got nine full boxes of textbooks here. And I was, I was honestly so excited to go through these when I got back to the storage unit. There was textbooks ranging from uh, biology to geography. We got social psychology here. There's so many different types of topics. And honestly, it was a gold mine. I was just excited to scan through all of these boxes. There was just so many options to choose from. And right away, the first book I grabbed out of this box right here, the Stop Walking on Eggshells workbook, has a great rank, sells for pretty good money. Definitely gonna throw that into the next Amazon box. Next up is the Sexuality textbook, and it's kind of heavy, so I typically try to stay away from things like this, but because it's a pretty decent rank and it sells for pretty good money, I'm gonna give it a shot. I was pretty surprised to find this book right here, Extreme Ownership, How US Navy Seals Lead and Win. It's got an amazing rank, there's nobody selling it right now, and it sells for pretty decent money, so, Obviously gonna sell that on Amazon. Going through this next box here, I did find a small little Cliff Notes version of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Normally, I probably wouldn't sell this for $12.25, but look how light this book is. It weighs next to nothing, and because it weighs next to nothing, I make more money on it. So I'm gonna throw that into my next Amazon box. Next up in that box is this book called Sex in History. It's got a super high rank. I normally would not have picked up this book, but because it's got 55 reviews, I figured, ah, let me give it a shot and see if it does indeed sell. Also in that box, it was this huge GED Canada Barons book here. It, it sells for $27.99, which is actually really, really good. But I'm only scared of the, the weight of this thing. The weight alone is going to eat all of the profits I'm going to make probably. But hey, I'm going to give it a shot. Going through this next box and right on top, it was piled with all different types of psychology books. Um, and I, I think what I might do with these is I might lock all of these up because a lot of these don't actually sell that well. So I might lock them all together and see if somebody wants to buy a bunch of psychology themed textbooks all in a huge bundle for a very cheap price. In this next box, I did find a copy of Themes in Roman Society and Culture. This book has a pretty decent rank. It's pretty, it's not that great, but it does sell for $44.20 and it's by Oxford University Press. So definitely gonna take a chance on this. I did find another textbook in that box called Rethinking Society. It's got an even higher rank. It sells for $19.99. I, I don't know why I added this to my list, but I shouldn't have. Next up is a book called The Beauty Myth, and it's got a pretty awesome rank. It sells for $17.51. It's not that big of a book, so I'm definitely going to make more money on it profit-wise. So definitely going to throw that into an Amazon box. This book right here, The Remedy, it has a pretty high rank, so I normally wouldn't have taken it, but it does sell for $26.13 and has a pretty good review history. So I'm going to take a chance on this one. This box right here has some pretty good ones, starting with this one right here, Think and Grow Rich. It's got an 81,000 sales rank, and look at this. It's got the little spirals that I keep talking about. The spirals on books, guys, does really, really well, and it sells for $25. So definitely going to throw that into the box. This next book was even better. This was probably the best book of the day. 41,000 rank, sells for $39 used, and it's by Oxford University Press. Anything you see by Oxford, always pick up and scan because it's usually pretty good. This was the best find of the day. Another good one from that box was this book right here, An Introduction to Theories of Popular Culture. This book has a pretty really good rank, uh, sells for $22.88, and it's kind of small, so definitely going to throw that into the Amazon box. Here's another heavy book. Again, I wouldn't have picked it up if I had to pay for this, but because it sells for $45.50, that's really the only reason why I'm selling it. There's some profit to be made on a book like this. Opening this next box, and I did find a bunch of really awesome books just out of from a visual standpoint. Uh, these books just look really, really nice. Uh, and as a reseller, these are the kind of books that you want to go through. They're just fun to scan. And of course, I found a lot of really good ones in here, starting with this book right here, the Relaxation and Stress Reduction Workbook 6th Edition. It doesn't sell for much, but it has a really good rank, and the profits are there for this book. This book right here has a pretty good rank, under 100,000, sells for $14.99, definitely uh, only good in Canada, but definitely going to make some money off this one. 
so this was a pretty interesting book here it has a really really high rank so i'm probably not going to sell that on amazon but it does sell for 31 dollars used and there's no fba sellers so what i might do is i might put this up on facebook marketplace because i think that there is a crowd there for it this was an interesting book. Here's a serial killer's book. Has a pretty good rank and it sells for $14.92. So definitely there's some money to be made on this little book right here. I was amazed to find this book right here. Codependent No More has an amazing rank of 545. It sells for 17 bucks used. And uh, this honestly was a no brainer. Here's a change of pace. These are two brand new, still sealed inside the plastic Maxwell VHS tapes. Number 16 in electronics sells for 20 bucks new. Uh, it's got a different picture than than what's showing, and this one too has a different picture. But they're they're both the exact same barcode, which I thought was weird. But they're both still brand new sealed. I love brand new sealed things. Definitely gonna throw these into the next Amazon box. Going through that same box, I did find two more copies of Fifty Shades of Grey volumes one and two here i've sold another bundle of these all three of them the whole trilogy so i'm definitely going to make a new bundle and try to sell them on facebook going to the bottom of this box here and i did find a red letter edition king james version of the holy bible it's white it's a leather bound and it's got this zipper that goes all the way around which i thought was really cool always keep an eye out for old looking bibles like this because these types of books sell pretty well on ebay and that's where i'm going to try to sell this one here and try to make a good chunk of money on it Speaking of old books, I did find a copy of Gone with the Wind down here. Now, initially I thought this was worth a lot of money, but it was not. And it's only worth a lot of money if you have the first edition version. So always make sure that if you're looking through a book that might be kind of old, that it is a first edition version. This one, unfortunately, was not. It's the Macmillan Company version, uh, which is still worth some money, I believe. But I have to look this up. Either way, I'm going to try to sell this on eBay. Going through this next box, and I did find a copy of this book right here one canada it does have a pretty okay rank but it sells for 21.29 so definitely has some good profit to be made there this was an interesting little book here in the states it has a 693,000 sales rank selling for 16.99 used it's a little beat up but i definitely think i could try to fix it up uh, clean it off a little bit and make it look that much more appealing this small little book right here has an amazing sales rank of 64,000. It's got a lot of great reviews. There's a used copy selling for 25 bucks. I doubt it's worth 25 bucks used. So I'm definitely gonna try to sell this around the $19 mark, maybe even $15 mark and see what happens. In this box, I found a copy of Alfred Hitchcock Presents Stories Not for the Nervous. Very interesting book right here. Has a pretty a decent rank in the States of 705,000. Sells for $25 used. Definitely going to throw this into my next U.S. Amazon box. Sometimes these big dust jacket novel books can be worth quite a bit of money. And this is an example of that. Over here we have Lucky. It sells used for $30. Um, probably going to go a little bit under that, like $25, and make a quick sell on this one. Going through this box here, I did find this copy of a cookbook featuring Oprah, which I thought was kind of interesting. And uh, it's got a pretty okay sales rank. There's an okay amount of reviews and there's no one selling it used at the moment. So definitely gonna capitalize on that. You'd be surprised to know how many kids books do pretty well on Amazon FBA. And this is an example of that. It has a pretty awesome sales rank, a lot of reviews and it sells for 1777 used. So definitely gonna go into my next Amazon box. In this next box, I did find two Disney themed books and they both looked pretty cool, but only one was worth some money. It was this one right here, Disney Scare Storybook Collection. It has a really great rank under 100,000 and sells for $29.98. Amazing find, definitely gonna throw that into a box. Near the bottom of this box, I did find this copy of The Lost Treasure of the Knights Templar. It's got kind of a high rank, uh, typically wouldn't get this, but because there's nobody selling it, I figured that I have a higher chance of this selling for myself, so definitely going to take a chance on this one. Well, that is it, guys. That is all the books that we ended up finding this week. Um, definitely going to get more books next week. I just picked up a 15-box collection from the thrift store that I usually pick up books from, so there's definitely more videos like this coming in the future. I'm definitely going to try to make more stuff like this going forward. Uh, right now, I am currently juggling a bunch of work-related projects and things like that, so I'm trying to keep things updated as much as possible, but if you see a, a kind of a gap in my, uh, in my uploading, that is the reason. It's not because I'm not doing it anymore, it's just because I got a lot going on, and I'm definitely still doing this in my life. It's still coming. It's 
it's still gonna happen so you're gonna see a bunch of stuff coming out just not as fast as maybe some of you guys would like it but it that's the, that's the end of the video guys if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe i really appreciate it if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section down below i'm really fast at answering and uh i'll see you guys in the next one